Hello, Sid Roth here, host of It's Supernatural, Messianic Vision. I want to encourage you to check out Divine Intervention, hosted by my friend Daniel Fasino. Divine Intervention is the interview show that features such intriguing people who've experienced the amazing hand of God. On this engaging program, Daniel showcases miracle testimonies of all kinds, like dramatic encounters with God, miraculous healings, powerful answered prayers, incredible near-death experiences, and more, all to the glory of Jesus the Messiah. I know your faith will be challenged and stimulated by divine intervention. Hi, it's Kevin Sorbo here, and you know what? Daniel Brzezina has the coolest and most amazing radio show ever. It's Divine Intervention Radio, and if you don't watch it, I might have to go Hercules on you. I'm telling you right now, you better listen to what he's got to say, because he knows what he's talking about, and it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful road for you to walk on. God bless. Take care. Hello, I'm Ted Baer, publisher of MovieGod.org. And I want to commend Daniel Fazzino for his program, Divine Intervention. I've been on his program. It's excellent. It has a lot of great quality in it. He has interviews that talk about divine intervention, about God's answers to prayer and needs that people have. It is an excellent program. It's a fun program. It's an important program. And it lifts you up. So I urge you to listen to Divine Intervention being hosted by my friend, Daniel Fazzino. Hi, I'm Lee Strobel, author of The Case for Christ. You know, my latest book is called The Case for Miracles. And I was thrilled when Daniel Fazina invited me to be on his radio program, Divine Intervention. It's a program that specializes in talking about how God supernaturally interacts with people even today, even in the 21st century. So I've been telling my friends, hey, check this out. Here's a program that deals with some of the most amazing stories you'll ever hear about how God is still active in our lives today. God bless you. This is Jonathan Kahn, the author of The Harbinger, The Paradigm, The Book of Mysteries, and now The Oracle. And I encourage you to check out Divine Intervention. It's a great name because that's what it's about. Divine Intervention is a broadcast showing the supernatural hand of God, the divine realm in our own lives. And it's filled with uh, the stories and accounts of the real moving of God, the real moving of the divine uh, in people's lives to bring uh, redemption, to bring healing, to bring salvation, to bring breakthrough. And the same power that you'll see on this program is there for your life as well. So it's going to be a blessing for you in every way. So I encourage you, check out the program of my friend Daniel Fazina, Divine Intervention, and be blessed with the divine intervention of God. I am Squire Rushnell, the God Wink guy. What's a God Wink? A God Wink is those little coincidences that aren't coincidence, but come from divine origin. Everybody has them. But today, I want to talk to you about Daniel Fazina. He is the host of a wonderful radio show called Divine Intervention Radio. Now, how do I know Daniel? I was seeking a friend of mine who was on that show, and I was trying to find it, and his name is Hubie Sin, the reluctant prophet. I was drawn into the radio show, found myself listening to a second one with Jonathan Kahn, the author of The Harbinger. Eventually, I met Daniel Fazina, and he invited me on the show. I found him to be a gracious and a very curious host, and he was dedicated to explaining the amazing ways in which God works in your life. And of course, we talked about God winks, and how God winks are evidence of God's amazing presence in your life. And we talked about how Godwinks are left on your doorstep like a gift. And that my job is to get you to open the door and open your gift. <laughs> and so to Daniel Fazina, host of Divine Intervention Radio, I want to thank you for allowing me to come on your radio show, to share this information, and to just praise you as an ambassador for God. Meanwhile, good wishes for God winks. 
Hi, I'm Rabia Scott. I am one of the lead actresses in the newly released hit film, Unplanned. I'm also a Christian speaker and author of the book, Counterfeit Comforts. I wanna take a moment and encourage you to tune into the show, Divine Intervention. That's hosted by my friend, Daniel Fazina. Divine Intervention is an interview show that features intriguing people who have experienced the hand of God in amazing ways. Uh, Divine Intervention highlights answered prayers, miraculous healings, near-death experiences, and so much more, and it gives all the glory to Jesus. I know you will be inspired and encouraged by Divine Intervention. Hi, this is Joan Hunter, joanhunter.org, and I just want to tell you that I have thoroughly enjoyed my time of knowing Daniel Frazina and also Divine Intervention Radio. I've been on the radio program several times and it's been absolutely amazing, but the thing that I like the most is the stability, the regularity, the dependability where Daniel is concerned and, and what his radio program has done through the years. And I wanna encourage you to continue to listen. Be sure to find him out and listen to the program. He's amazing. Hi. My name is Flamini, I'm Italian, I'm from London, and I'm making this video to say a huge thank you, Daniel Fusina, for starting Divine Intervention Radio. It has been a huge inspiration for me. It has been, um, let's say, the kickstarter of my faith. And I started listening to Divine Intervention Radio out of pure curiosity to um, hear what God was doing in the lives of others. And Ever since I listened to the first interview, I started every morning putting on a new interview and listening to the podcast until I listened to every single episode and I had to start repeating them. And um, what that did was it grew a hunger in my life. It grew my faith and it grew a hunger to see God's miracles in my life and not just listen to them and listen to, to testimonies of other people's lives. And so that made me get up, go out, start praying for people and, and start um, searching for my own encounters with God and start seeing the presence of God. So thank you so much, so much, Daniel Fazina, for starting this, this program, this show. It has been a huge inspiration and it has helped my faith grow immensely. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hi, I'm Sean and I'm from Pennsylvania. I've been listening to Divine Intervention Radio for several years now. And I really enjoy listening to this program because... I like to listen to the amazing stories that people tell about God making a positive transformation in their lives. I think that Daniel and his guests really do a good job of encouraging people like me to have a stronger faith in God and more trust in Him in all situations. Hi, I'm David. I'm from Connecticut. Uh, I've been a fan of Divine Intervention Radio for several years now. I like the fact that I can listen to it on the internet as well as hear it over the radio airwaves. Um, I really like Dan's style of interviewing. Not only does he have many guests from all walks of life, uh, there's always surprises, people that you, you are familiar with, people that you're, um, you've heard before, and also uh, people that you may not have heard but that have uh, very compelling stories as well. Dan um, has written books, which I've had the privilege of reading as well, and he's also um, a friend of mine. I've had a chance to meet him and get to know him, and I can say that he's a man of character. I look forward to seeing what God has in store for the radio show, as well as for Dan, and I encourage you, if you get a chance, listen. Pick up one of the books, listen to the radio show, uh, you'll really appreciate what he has to offer. Hi there, my name's Glenn Mistel, and I live in New South Wales, Australia, in the Blue Mountains. And Divine Intervention has really encouraged my family. We like to go on Sunday drives after church and listen to Daniel Fazina's radio program. And it's really blessed us seeing what God has done in people's lives.